Hello guys and welcome back to my Let's Play Digimon World 3. When we left off, we had just gone to the South Sector. <coughs> and we are going to be continuing our adventure south onto the next city and hopefully to win our next badge. So here we go. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, when I left off, I was busy trying to go and get ready for soccer. That was a hell of a night for me. AKA last night. Mm, God, that tasted so good. <clears throat> Ooh, and who is this? Apparently someone is blocking our way to the next city. Zambon... Zambamamon? And of course he's not going to let us pass sadly and apparently he never lose so we are all screwed we're all screwed man we are all screwed control haha <laughs> Oh my god, that tastes so good. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter. Because no matter what, you will always lose that first initial battle. Because it is freaking gay like that. And I'm pretty sure if it was a real fight, I'm pretty sure my metal grandma would not have taken that much damage. I could be mistaken, but I I really don't think he would have took that much damage. If he would have, then fuck me. So now we have to figure out a way how to get past him. So let's ask around the inn to see if anyone knows how to. All right. So there really isn't that much places to go here. But yeah. So we are going to go to the inn and see if any of the Got him on, know what is going on.
And apparently, everyone is annoyed by Zab Zambamon. And apparently, there is a Digimon in the Shama house named Spike Mon that can do something about it. But strangely, he disappeared. I wonder what that could be all about. <clears throat> Let's go to the Shama house and see what is up. And I'm not sure if you guys can really see it, but right up there where the voice is, you can kind of see something moving, and that is in fact Spike Mon. Or Spike Mon. <coughs> And apparently he does know how to beat him, but we had to do a favor for him. And apparently he has lost his mask. And he is not going to come down without it on. And apparently he had it with Baro, yeah, Baromon, and that was when he lost it. <coughs> so let's go to Baromon and see what he knows about it. Alright. This is going to be taking a bit because, um, you have to go back and forth. Between the Shama house and then uh, the Prodigal Ruins. So I am actually going to cut it off when I get to the North Sector. Um, the only reason I'm going to do this is because, actually it might not be the North Sexes I'm thinking about, but um, I am pretty sure, yeah, alright, like I was saying, um, I'm pretty sure you guys know the whole area over there by now, so, yeah, alright, and we are back. Yeah, but I'm not sure if all of you guys heard it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that all of you guys know how to get around the next section that I'm going to, so I'm pretty sure I don't really have to um, show you how to get there and stuff. I am pretty sure you guys probably will remember how to. So as soon as we get to the E sector, I will be kind of off. Alright, I'll see you all over at the Prodigal Ruins, where our next event will be at. See y'all there. Alright, here we are at Protocol Ruins. <coughs> um, yeah, this is SOB. Alright, um, 
as I was saying, this was also the place where I did most of my training skits level 20. It really did take a long time just to get here. But um, where you're going to want to come to is right up here and talk to this Digimon. It was a Baron Mon. <clears throat> and apparently he was last heard of in a Skua City. Now, I am not 100% sure, but I think you can skip this next little part. And go to a school city, but just because I want to make sure not to and actually fully do and everything, um, <clears throat> we're just gonna go back to a uh, Spike Mon and talk to him first and see if the rumors are true. So I'll see you guys back at South Sector. All right, we are at East Sector, ready to go back to South Sector. Sorry about that. Um, the only reason I'm putting this little part in here is to show you guys how you, um, we will not have to fight Bulbmon again. That is the only reason I'm putting this part in. <sighs> I don't know why I'm tired. I got so much sleep. And as you can see, we did not have to fight him again. Yay. 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 <coughs> Um, just so you guys know what we're doing back here is not getting into a battle. Where? All right, we're back again. Um, all right, so what we are doing is, and I don't know if I really said it. Well, the last little part, but um, we're here to actually check with Spike Mon, just to see if he really is in a Skua City. Blah blah blah. Even though that we know he's not. Um. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say right now. Ooh, Link was went back. <laughs> and as we can still see, there is still someone up there. And of course, he is still there. Ooh. Rekka frecka. All right, so as I was saying, um, actually, I don't remember what I was saying, um, but we are going to talk to our friend, Kale. For the life of me, I cannot remember crap right now. Yeah. Uh. <coughs> uh. 
And apparently she saw a Digimon with an amazing face going to East Sector. <coughs> and she said it was Baromon. I really think, uh, no. All right, we are back. Yeah, I'm just really like at a loss of mind right now. I really don't know. Yay, so here we go to East Sector to follow, follow Baromon. Alright, so I'm going to cut it off until we go to our next little part and see you guys there. Alright, we are back. Um, For this next part, we are going to be talking to this Agumon. And apparently, he is not here. And he already tells us everything that we already know. That he likes forest slash rune areas. And well, since there's only one forest rune area, we're going to go there. And we already know it's uh, prodigal ruins. Ra 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 ra. So, I will meet you guys over there, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Devermon! <coughs> Alright, and we are back at the Protocol Ruins. Yay! Woo! Woo! I don't know. Alright, so we are pretty much here to talk to Barumon again. And uh, and again, he pretty much tells us what we already know. That he actually does not know if Spikemon really lost his mask or not. But he's heard that he's at uh Freak, what was that? Oh, a school of city, and I'll see you guys there. Alright. Alright, so now I mean I'll see you guys over at a school of city where the next event will take place. See you guys there. Alright, here. Not that, um. So here we are at the Skua Bridge where our next event is going to occur. What you're going to want to do is come down here. And oh my god, we see Spikemon. Die little dirty liar. And apparently he's going to be a stuck up jerk like that and uh. Say he found the mask, he's not going to tell us. Gosh, he is so rude. Um, unless I'm mistaken, what you're going to want to do is go to the Eskua City Park. And by the park, I mean pretty much the little... Uh, what was it? The little area with the tree. Because I guess that's considered as a park or something. That or I am smoking something. Not really, but yeah. Um.
Yeah, we come here and look at that. We find an Edamon who we have not seen before. And apparently he ran off to Divermon Lake. And Edamon is saying that he is one bad Digimon and that he is a strange to be the same type of Digimon as him. So we are off to Divermon's Lake. Um, I'm just pretty much going to cut off here and I'll see you guys over at Divermon Lake. Alright, alright. Alright, so here we are at Divermon's Lake. Where we are gonna try and find Ectomon here. Or try to find some information about Ectomon here. <coughs> Alright, so what we are gonna do is actually come back here. And look who we find. We find a man. Apparently everything is normal, which is weird to say. And apparently we scared him. Boo hoo. <laughs> and he gets offensive because we called him an old man. But his name is Nick and he's 21. <laughs> uh. And apparently he ran into Edamon. And apparently he found Spikemon's shield, but Edamon took the mask. Wow, I totally space some. Um, but yeah, we get the information we are looking for about Edamon. That he did pretty much, in fact, take Spikemon's shield. So we are gonna go. Oh, yeah. So we are going to go back to Skua City and confront Edamon about this. I'll see you guys back there. Alright, everyone. And here we are back at Skua City. And we are going to go confront Edamon about the mask. And we're going to jump him for his money. Yeah. No, not really. I wish we could. That would be fun. <laughs> All right, time to go confront an animal on a bath mask. And here we go. <laughs> Don't tell us anything, you know. Hmm, weird. And he lies and walks off because he's a big bad Digimon like that. Because he is freaking lying. Lying straight through his ass. Time to go chase him down. We're going monkey hunting, y'all. <coughs> you want to have banana? Some pretty sure that'll work really well with Edamon. 
opening again. He probably has banana. Now he really couldn't have gone far. So we're gonna go down here and shake the shoes for his punk ears. And look at that, there is the animal. Time to go beat him up and take the mask. And he just reluctantly gives it to us. Yeah, it's just creepy. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the east sector. And we are gonna get Spike on his mask back so we can hopefully go and get our garlic or whatever it was gonna give to us to beat Zomboyomon or what the hell ever his name is. So I'll see you guys back at East Sector. See y'all in there. Alright, so here we are back at South Sector. About to go return Spike Mon's mask. And just so everyone knows, yes, I am very aware that I have probably been pronouncing his name wrong. Uh, past couple of times, or just overall all the time, but I'm just gonna be calling him Spike Mon for the hell of it because I really don't feel like uh, trying to pronounce his name any other way. So yeah, hey, if you guys have a problem with that. Sorry about it, but yeah. This is, I think, about the almost the only time you will ever need to talk to Spike Mon, besides um another part that is going to be happening. Probably quite shortly after this. So here we are back at the Shaman house. And he is grateful that we return his mask. But, of course, he wants to us uh, to turn around. <laughs> and the funny thing is, he has a paper bag over his mask. Which I do kind of find it funny. And he puts it on. And now he suddenly has a boomerang. Really read. Moment killer. And after all that. He gives us a smelly herb. And apparently, Zanbomon hates the smell of any smelly herb, so he'll run away for sure. And he wishes us luck. <sighs> I am... I don't know. I am actually. Yeah, I'll see you guys after this battle. All right. Never. 
All right, so after game the Smelly Herb, we are gonna go take on. That's a B. Ow. We're gonna go and take on uh, Zana Bowman to go see if the herb will actually work, and we can go rub it in his face. If it does. Almost went on the round one again. I got to scratch my head. All right, here we are. God damn it. All right, so let's talk to Zanbo my one and see if it will work. And we're throwing that we're gonna get through him this time. And he says we cannot win no matter what. But in fact, he is surprised I've got a smelly herb. He's gonna run away like the old chicken with his tail between his legs. And I know that chickens know how tails between, well, just tails, period. And he pretty much threatens us with the revenge. 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 And with that, we can finally go on. And just to tell you all, that is a not the last time we will see Zanbu Zaman at completely butchered that all right and we're back um as far as i know there should only be two digimon here bakemon and demi devimon i could be mistaken about that and there could be like a rare third digimon or just a third digimon overall i do not remember um, and this is actually kind of a good place to train this area and this little next area, the Phoenix Bay, or the area after, I cannot remember. Um, yeah, so we are very close to the next city. And our next gym fight. And. I really don't even know what I'll say. Um, besides screw battles. Alright. So like I was saying. um, This area. And the little. Graveyard area. They are. Ideal place to go train at. Um, they could probably go over to, but I am probably not going to train over there with my older Digimon since they are probably so weak for that area, but my metal grandma could probably train over there. Um, for this next gym battle, I would probably suggest all your Digimon be... Around level 15, just be on the safe side. <clears throat> but I am actually going to try and attempt to attack, not attack, but um, do this with my Metal Greymon and see how that works out. <clears throat> and yeah. But here we find someone else, a woman. Yeah. 
and of course she is talking to us. Um, her name is Lisa. Blah blah blah. And she has wondered if we have seen a cute green Digimon. And we suggest it might be Monmon or Terriomon. But in fact, it is another Digimon. Ogremon! And with that, she leaves us. Okay, maybe not. Okay, now she does. <laughs> and it's her again. And with that... I am going to cut off this episode of Let's Play Digimon World 3. And I'll see you guys next time when we will probably take on the city's leader. I did not really catch the name of the city. So I'll see you all next time. Peace out.